Hello, Bulldogs. This is Kyle Carlson. And I'm Margaret Maurer. Welcome to your BNN News Show. This week we'll be showing you more on Project Lit, Boys Basketball Senior Night, and Origami Club. All this and more on your Bulldog News Network. Project Lit, led by English teacher Kelly Culp, takes place one time each month to discuss a novel. The national organization's goal is to work to encourage students and help them understand the joy of reading. Here's Brian Rodriguez to tell you more. BNN sat down with Project Lit's club sponsor, Ms. Culp, to learn about the club and books they're reading like site. Project Lit is a national book club organization for um, all students, and the idea is to get more diverse literature into the hands of students. We started Project Lit um, two years ago because my students and I decided that we just didn't read enough books that reflected who our students really are. We, we read books by a lot of dead white guys, which is okay, you know, like they have something to say too, but there are lots of other voices out there that we don't always get to hear from. Ms. Culp talks about the activities Project Lit does at their meetings. We meet once a month, uh, the last Tuesday of every month, and we discuss that month's book. And we always have questions, a lot of times we have donuts, and um, we just have good discussion about books. My favorite part of Project Lit has definitely been introducing students to books that they didn't know about before. Books that they probably otherwise wouldn't have read. And the same for me. I, I wouldn't have always picked up the books that we have on our list. Um, if you like reading at all, um, it's a great group of people to come in in a really non-threatening place talk about a book. There's never a wrong answer. It's really just what you think of whatever book it is that we're reading. And um, that's just kind of a fun-loving group of people who, who like books. To learn more, go to at CNHS Project Lit on Instagram or Miss Culp's room at 1309. This is Brian Rodriguez reporting for BNN. Boys Basketball Senior Night took place this past Tuesday, February 25th. As well as the boys being re recognized, the cheerleaders were also recognized as well. The team played against the Seymour Owls and the result was a victory of 69-47. to BNN reporter Trent Boder sat down with two senior basketball players to hear their thoughts on the game as well. BNN sat down with boys basketball seniors Cameron Wishmeyer and Nicholas Chavello to discuss their senior night experiences. I'm Cameron Wishmeyer and I'm a senior at Columbus North High School. Uh, my name is Nicholas Chavello and I'm a senior at Columbus North. I think our season's gone really well this year. We've had a very successful season. Hopefully we keep building on that. I think I've played all right this year. There's been some ups and downs, but we've had a pretty good season this far. I think in order to win a sectional, we just need to work on playing as a team and playing a full game together. And I think that'll help us to win our sectional. Uh, my favorite year was probably last year, my junior year. I played a lot, even though it was JV. It was a great group of guys on both the JV and varsity. It was a fun to be part of both teams. Chairman Wishmeyer and Nick Chavello discuss what senior night means to them. To me, senior night's just a night to honor the seniors for everything they've done for the team and just a night to come together and kind of celebrate. A senior night, it's just another game, but it'll be fun because it's one of the last ones in Columbus North High School. And I'll get to be out there with my brothers for the last time. In my career at Columbus North, I think basketball has really benefited me because it's opened doors for me and shown me how to persevere and through adversity and just become a better man on and off the court. I've made a lot of connections with teammates, coaches, and faculty at the school and students walking around. And I think that helps me build communication skills and develop friendships with people I wouldn't otherwise. This is Trent Bodart reporting for BNN. Origami Club is for anyone who enjoys origami, loves the art of folding paper, or has an interest in learning the art of folded paper. The club is sponsored by art teacher Trina Schism, and they explore everything from basic folds to simple and complex origami models. BNN sat down with a club member to learn more. BNN spoke with fans of origami and certified paper folders about our origami club. Here's what they had to say. The Origami Club is 
it's a club that uh, we created to uh, help get other people interested in origami. Uh, we typically meet uh, here in the ceramics room. Based on the responses that we get from our members, we pick a model that uh, we can make and uh, we just go through and we do some certain hard things to help uh, improve our, our skills and such and we just, we just make origami. People should join the origami club because origami is fun and it's, it's a weird niche art where you can apply mathematics to it. Another member of the origami club had more to say about this paper form of 3D art. Because it's fun, interesting, you have people that know stuff more than you, you can learn from each other, and it's just something nice to do with your time if you have spare paper. I started making origami because initially I met this darter of the club in my Chinese class and asked me if I wanted to help him start the club or be a member of his club, and I agreed, and I do actually like art stuff. Origami Club meets every Thursday, every week, during lunch at 5A. This has been Kevin Graham reporting for BNN. That's it for today, Bulldogs. This is Kyle Carlson. And I'm Margaret Maurer. Have a great weekend.